Would I have before today? Yes. These, amazing. Uh, <laughs> the advancements are crazy. Good girl, Judah, come here. Oops. Okay, we can't go in yet, Judah. Yes, I'm doing well, thank you very much. Yes, it is, just for her grooming. <laughs> Bye, Judah. <laughs> I'm freaking out. Okay, have a good one, thank you. Winkle. Right, I've got a pair of the 2024 F50 Pluses and a pair of the 2004 Adidas F50 Pluses. So we're going to compare them, except we're going to do it a little bit differently, of course. This wouldn't be a side quest dad video if we weren't doing it differently. So we're going to start with the 2024 F50 Pluses. Now I fell out of love for soccer when I was in my third year of college and I just, I had no love for the game anymore. And as I've started to enjoy doing it, making videos, I told myself, if you're going to play football, Oliver, if you're going to play soccer, you do it for the fun of it. So I'm afraid this isn't going to be a serious review. We've got a mini soccer ball, a pro ball, except it's got a massive gash in it. This one must have been to South London, the FIFA World Cup ball. So challenge number one, it's a shot outside the box. We're talking messy territory. I guess I've got some five gum in my pocket. We'll use that. Have a quick taste and that'll be our measure of where we are. No warm up. Top left. Oh! These feel so good. I'm not even joking. We're not starting with the good ball. Oh dear. <laughs> Start with a mini ball. See what we can hit. It's moving with the wind. Top left. Oh gosh. Okay, take two. We're going to make this happen. Top left. Oh, there's the, uh, yeah, ooh. Dudar's had a few chews on this one. <laughs> okay, with the flat ball, signed by all the Sporting KC players. That can stay there. Okay, big ball. Oh! They, this is my first ever pair of non-laces or laceless, and they just fit like a glove. So let's try the 2000s. The immediate difference is the frame. So the old soccer cleats like these ones, they, they weren't built for anything too special. It was the insoles that were the big thing at the time. You could change out the insoles. But the new boots are designed with, like this has the sprint frame, just designed for speed and agility. Like you can't deny, the look of these are just insane, but they don't have the same fit. Wearing these, you call me Santiago Munez. Oh, that was me. Just don't feel anywhere near like a glove on your foot, which is not surprising. <laughs> trash, absolutely trash. Ruined Pro Bowl. Oh! <laughs> All right, now the real deal. Oh, the whip on this is insane. A huge difference is the leather on these versus the fiber touch on these. I'll weigh them in a bit. Ugh. Crikey Moses. I feel like I can get so much more power off of these. Now we're on the penalty spot. Dizzy penalties. Legend has it that professionals say you have to spin 30 times. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five, twenty-six, twenty-seven, twenty-eight, twenty-nine, thirty. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. Where's the ball? Am I spinning? There, I know it's there. Oh, man, how did I make that? A Penenko. Okay, solid. The uh, frame on the boots felt like it was gonna snap. We don't need to do it with each ball, do we? All right, let's check the weight difference. I just happened to bring a scale with me. So the 20 year old boots come in at 294 grams. 2024 boots, 191 grams. Holy, that's a whole 100 grams difference in just a pair of boots. Also, check out the size difference in the actual cleats themselves. These are huge. I need my reaction times to be up. Let's go for the mini ball again. One, two. Okay, where are we? I feel sick. Oh. oh no! I feel deadly sick. A five gum was too much. It's not the gum. 
I literally just ate Alfredo and block broccoli and hamburger before this. Help. I don't think the gum's helping, so we're gonna go without that. Because the next one, should have done this first. Okay, we're gonna do old school MLS penalty shootouts. You start at the halfway line and the player has five seconds to score. We don't have a keeper, obviously. So I guess we'll do it with the mini ball. <laughs> Here's something I don't currently love. I wanna get a shot from the angle, like with this camera straight in front of my face as I'm spinning, which means I have to do this again, or at least do a couple of spins. And I feel so sick right now, but that's the fun of making content, isn't it? Here we are with this thing. Should probably put a ball on the spot, shouldn't we? Some minor adjustments. Ready? No, I'm not ready. Oh gosh, oh my gosh, oh, I stepped on the drone, that should be enough. Immediately everything's come back up. Oh gosh, I feel gross. But here's the interesting part about planning out a story versus just going and doing it. I feel so sick right now that that is a great like crisis point for the TikTok story of like, is he going to be able to finish this or not? And I could never have planned that I was going to feel this sick after well, I should have planned it after I'd eaten flipping Alfredo pasta with a hamburger. Oh gosh, I feel terrible. But it's more realistic than something that was planned. And I'm learning to go along with the real story that happens instead of trying to plan it. And I think that's out of fear of not having a good enough story when I go and shoot it. And so it feels like a waste of time. Like even this bit, I could never have planned that I would be using these shoes as a pillow, which also references how soft they are in comparison. Just couldn't have planned it, Oliver. And so now I'm starting to get to a place where I can take what really happens and turn that into the story. Now, if these vlogs were a full story, then obviously you wouldn't hear this behind the scenes. You would just hear me talking about being sick and not sure if I can finish doing this and then using these as a pillow to talk about their softness. But because this is the behind the scenes, you get to hear the talking through of it for the TikTok, where you have this like nice, concise, impactful story. All right, let's do this. I don't think I mentioned this yesterday, but I'm gonna start, and I have started, that's why you, you see the five gum in this video. I'm gonna start finding a brand that fits into every video I have, because the major problem I have is that I can't get brand deals because brands just can't see how to fit their product or service into the videos. And I think I need to start showcasing how to do that. And really, I think the thing that's really important is that me including brands in the side quest videos, the stories on TikTok, it's not about trying to sell it to someone. It's about brand awareness. Like it's not gonna come with my opinion, if it's good, bad, I love it, hate it, I've used it for years or not, unless I truly feel that way. And so I always want that to be as honest as possible, but I have a cool idea for tomorrow, if I'm gonna shoot this video tomorrow, another soccer one with body armors, where I'll hang those from the goal lines and try and hit those as if like, those are the only things I have in my car. Or another video idea is, I saw this kid do a Guinness World Record of most, um, what are they called? This skill, uh, Rabona. Oh, not that one. <laughs> I'm not quite sure how to position the camera to get a full shot of this, but I think I should go to the side here and then I can just pan across as I move down the field. As long as I get the center line and the goal in each of the sides of the shot. So yeah, this is perfect. More than enough. I should probably go in a bit. Let's go from there. I still, I feel like weak as well as sick at the moment. I think I'm going to do it with the pro ball actually. Ready? I'm going to, I guess I'm going to have to count as we go. Ready? One, two, three. No! <laughs> you can get like zero power off the ball. Ah, oh, it's all wet. All right, we'll have to give this another go. That was awful. I got so caught up thinking about the time. I forgot that I'm actually have to bloody shoot. One, two, three, four. Chipped him. No! <laughs> These do feel so good to run in though. I feel like Ronaldo just fast AF. Okay, switch boots one last time. God, the comfort level difference is just crazy. Crazy, Oliver. It's just crazy. Timer on. Ready? 
One, two, three, four. Come on. The keeper's definitely stopping that. I feel so sluggish in these. I feel like a slug. I also blame this ball for being dead. Can't get any power on it. I still think this is crazy. This is what I do for work. But if you're aspiring to do something like this, it has taken me nine years. Am I the best at it? No, but you have to believe in yourself. I filmed this after the next bit. I just forgot. I haven't given you guys a full, the full thoughts on these. Like these, I love the look of them. I think they look amazing. I love the nostalgia of them, but just when you compare them to a, a new pair of boots, they just don't compare. These just feel so sluggish. They feel, honestly feel like bricks on your feet in comparison to one of the new pair of boots. I would never wear these if I was trying to play in a proper game, ever. Would I have before today? Yes. These, amazing. Uh, <laughs> the advancements are crazy. How old do I feel saying that? I've been doing positive affirmations to myself to push myself to believe in myself because I've realized a lot of the traits you have, good and bad, come from your childhood. And so one of the things I've realized is that I've never actually been that confident in myself. And when I think back to it, I, I saw this video two days ago and it was a girl talking about her boyfriend and her family, his family. And she was expressing like she doesn't understand why her boyfriend is so confident in himself and like his abilities and he thinks he's so good, but not to a point of being arrogant. And then she said she was in the car with her boyfriend and her, his mum. And he started playing some music on his phone and his mum said, wow, you have such a great taste in music. And then whatever was the next thing and the mum would give a compliment. And he realized so quickly that that guy is the way he is because he's always been praised for the things that he is good at. And even if he's not good at it, if it's something that he finds joy in, he's been praised for it. And so he feels that he's good at what he does. And that kind of confidence is just, I don't think you can match it. And I'm not saying my parents are bad parents. I had an amazing childhood and I, my parents did the best they could when they did it. But something that I and Shay do with our boys, with our sons, is make sure we praise them for as many things as possible. Let them know that they did well at something, that they tried hard, that they achieved something and give them those positive affirmations and those those confidence boosters as much as possible. So if you're a mum or a dad, or even with one of your friends, or just to a stranger, give them a compliment. Find something that they like, or you can see they put effort into, and give them a compliment. Because it will mean the world. They may not act like it means the world, but it will mean the world. Okay, yeah, I'll come pick her up now then, thank you. Yeah, they said she was mostly done apart from under her arms and her feet, and they didn't have enough people, because she's flailing all over the table. <laughs> Did, did I get a haircut? Should we go and see her? Hi, dude. Oh. Thanks. Uh, I didn't bring her lead, so I will. I'll just you take can her like use this. Ours to take her out okay. To the car I'll and bring, bring it straight back. Cool. Thank you very much, dude. Oh, you look so fluffy. Bye. Cool. Yeah. Thanks, guys. Back in a second. Dude. Oh. Dude, what are you doing? Relax. It's a dude. Oh. Hi. <laughs> do it this way. Let's go to the car, Duda. Relax, Duda. Duda, you want to jump in the back? Duda, here. Hop. Mom, 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 do you see me? I look so handsome. I mean, pretty. I'll be right back. I'm going to take this lead back. Oh, man, come on. I've been bursting. I've been bursting. Yeah. Be good, good, Duda. Oh, I've been bursting. Dude, have you been bursting for the toilet? 